Hello everyone, welcome to LRDA Prep. So this is another puzzle on test your brain power. This is the episode number 8 on test your brain power that I am taking. Let's have a look at this beautiful puzzle. It says A, B, C, D and E are the 5 students who took a test. Guys, please pause the video and try to solve the set by yourself. Take a screenshot of the video. Solve the set by yourself, right? Only then we'll be able to understand the main concept behind it. Let's see how many of you can solve it. Now, A, B, C, D, E are the five students who took a test. Instead of directly giving them the scores, the teacher directly calculated the average score, average score of three at a time for all the possible combination and told them the following numbers. And the numbers are 20, 24, 25 and so on. If E scores the highest among five, what was his highest score? Now, the first point that you need to keep in your mind is uh, uh, you need to understand the possible combination when I'm selecting three out of five people. This, there's a small concept of permutation and combination that is involved here. See that? I have five people, right? A, B, C, D, and E. These are the five people. And I want to make a possible combination of three. If I have to select three people out of five, how many combination I'll be able to make? 5C3. What is 5C3? 5 factorial upon 2 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial, which is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 2 into 3 factorial. This get cancelled. This is 2. So you will get this value as equal to 10. That means there will be total 10 combination if I'm taking the scores of 3 at a time. And you can see that these are the 10 possible scores, right? These are total 10 possible scores. And these are the averages, these are not the total, these are the averages of their scores. Okay, now, now one more thing that you need to see, that out of these 10 combination, in how many combination a particular score A will be counted, a particular score of A will be counted. Now if I have to select 3 people, and let's say A is definitely the part of the team, and I'm left with 2 more people to select, so I'll be selecting 2 out of these 4 only. So if I have to select four, two more people, it can be done in 4C2 ways. Now 4C2 means it is 4 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial, which is equal to 6. That means out of all these 10 combination, A will be the part of 6 teams, right? A will be the part of 6 combination. A will be counted for 6 times. Similarly, B will also be counted for 6 times, C will also be counted for 6 times, D will also be counted for 6 times, E will also be counted for 6 times. So total, A is counted for 6 times, so all of these have been counted for 6 times. So in these 10 combinations, I have total 30 values, where every value of A is counted for 6 times, B is also counted for 6 times, and so on. But because this is the average, it's not the total, now when I'm counting, now, for example, if you want to see how six teams are selected, how A is counted for six times, you see that I can select A with B and C. Then I can select A with, right, A with, uh, out of these five, I can combine A, B, and C. Then I can combine A, B, and D. Then I can combine A, B, and E. I can also combine A with C and D. I can also combine A with C and C with E. Then finally, I can combine A with D and D with E. So you see that total number of combination over here are six. A is a part of six combination. So that means A has been counted for six times. Now, the value of A has been counted for six times. And once you counted the value of A for six times, and when I find the average every time, so every time I'm dividing the value A, uh, the total of these three by three, total of these three by three, right? So can I say, after counting A for 6 times. Why I'm dividing it by 3? Because I'm finding the averages here. So after taking the summation of A for 6 times, I'm dividing it by 3. That means finally, finally A has been counted 2 times. Similarly, in this total, if I do all the total, B will also be counted for 2 times, C will also be counted for 2 times, and so on. That's, that, that's the role of permutation and combination. This, is, this much is the role of permutation combination chapter. In, the, in this particular puzzle, right? That A, B, C, D, E have been counted for two times. Now, once you are clear with this, what I can do is, if I add them up, I can see that in this addition, all of these values have been counted for two times. So I'll get two times of A plus D plus C plus D plus E. Now two times of A plus B plus C plus D plus E would be how much? 
You see that, how will I do the total? You see 20 has been used for six times, right? And 30 value with 30s have been used for four times. So instead of taking the addition normally, what I will do is I'll simply multiply 20 with six and 30 with four. So total I have 240. And then I'll count the more, uh, the, the extra values compared to 20 and 30. Four plus five, nine plus six, 15 plus seven, 20 plus, uh, four, four plus five, nine plus six, 15, 22, 30, 31, plus four, 35, plus five, 40. So this total is 280. So can I say two times of A plus B plus C plus D plus E is 280? So can I say A plus B plus C plus D plus E will be equal to 140? Now A, B, C, D, E is equal to 140. Can I say that? Can I also say now? Now, now can I assume it? If E is scoring the highest score, can I assume, let's say, all the values of A, B, C, D, when arranged in the increasing order are, in, are, are like this, right? A is having the highest value. Now, the lowest possible total will definitely come from A, B, and C because A is less than B, B is less than C. So can I say the total of A plus B plus C, this would be the lowest average which definitely come from A plus B plus C and this will be equal to 60. And similarly, I can have the value of C plus D plus E being the highest which is 35 into 3, that is 105. This will be the highest score. Now, if I add them up, I'll get A plus B, C will be coming for two times, plus D plus E, that is equal to 165. Now, if I use these two equations, if I subtract this equation from this, I'll straight away get the value of C as 25. C is 25 here, right? Now, because C plus D plus E is given to me as 105, I want to find out the highest score, that means E. I got the value of C, I get the value of D, I'll get my answer, right? So my purpose is to now find out the value of D, that's it. Now, A plus B plus C is having the lowest score, that is 60. Now, all I have to see is what this value is equal to. You see that the second lowest value will be represented by A, B, and D. Because A, B, C are the lowest. Now, when I replace C with D, I'll get the second lowest, right? Because D is just more than C. So, therefore, the second lowest value will be A plus B plus D, and that is equal to 24. And 24 into 3, that is 72. Now, some of you might be thinking, why not B plus C plus D? Why A plus B plus D is second? See that. It's a basic comparison. If I say A plus B plus D, and then I take a case of B plus C plus D, which one will be the lowest? You see that. B is common here. C is more than A, right? And D is common. So B plus C plus D is definitely more than A plus B plus D. So A plus B plus D is definitely less than B plus C plus D, right? B is common, D is common, C is more than A, so this will be lowest, right? This part will be lowest. So second lowest average of 24 will be representing the values of A, B, and D. So A plus B plus D is 72, and I know that A plus B plus C is 60. So now see that, here A plus B is common, here B, A plus B is common. When I replace C with D, the total is going up by 12. So can I straight away say, can I straight away say the value of D is equal to C plus 12. So D will be equal to 25 plus 12, 37. So now when I put the value here, C is 25, D is 37 plus E is equal to 105. The value of E would be equal to 105 minus 7 plus 5, 3 plus 2, 5, 6, 5 minus 2, 3, 10 minus 6, 4. So E will be equal to 43 and that would be the highest possible score of you. That would be the correct answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Total eight episodes have been uploaded, guys. Please watch all these episodes. This will really, really help you in covering varieties of SET. There's a bumper offer for CAT 2021 going on. If you wish to attend my live sessions on Academy, you can go for plus subscription for six months and you'll get subscription till CAT 2021. My referral code for the plus subscription is LRDA Smear Live. If you use this code, you will get a 10% off on plus subscription. LRDA Smear Live is my referral code. Uh, this, in addition to this bumper offer, you'll get a 10% off on this plus purchase. Thank you. See you in the next part.